All I do is make references. There. I'm a man of memes and references. Although not current memes, because I don't know what you kids are into these days. Or with it once, and then they change what it is. It'll happen to you. No dog, no as dog. you are, I once was. As I am, <laughs> you will be. That's my favorite quote from that movie. <laughs> yes, yes, it is another reference. Uh, what was that movie? 1408? Is that the name of it? Cool. I see y'all like movies too. I, I just, just don't remember. I'm just trying I to don't recall. Even know. You remember I, uh, he is a guy who writes books about uh, haunted places and he goes to stay in the uh, room, yep. 1408. Yeah, yeah that's, that, that's, that, that's the one with uh, Cusack, right? Yep. And he goes into like yeah. the bathroom yeah. or something and suddenly he's in like... Uh, I don't know, a hospital place, and his dad is like a gurney or something like that. And that's what his dad says to him. As you are, I once was. As I am, you will be. I think my favorite Stephen King ad- ad- adaptation is um, the made-for-TV version of, Road- of Rose Red. Only because it's so goddamn long. <laughs> I would go with Langoliers. Only because Balky. Well, the reason I like Rose Red is because most of the time when pe- people translate book into film, they get rid of stuff. Yeah, because you have to make room for time. Rose Red, they didn't do that. I don't or know if what they the did, plot of Rose they got Red rid is, of. Though. They got rid of such such a a little amount that it's literally like five and a half hours long. Was Rose Red though? Mm-hmm. I don't know the plot of Rose Red. Um, haunted haunt, haunted house. Yeah, with a lot of uh, it's typical Stephen King uh, haunted house with lots of people in it. So you're telling me it takes yeah. place in Maine? It does too. <laughs> and then there's an author or... insert. You know too much. <laughs> But uh, I'm recommending, I, I always recommend the four hour adaptation of Salem's Lot with Rob Lowe, Donald Sutherland, and Rutger Hauer, which is also a complete adaptation of Salem's Lot, although it's updated for oh, uh, sure. the late 90s. Gravity Cut is coming in here recommending good stuff. I'm going to stick to my Langoliers recommendation. Yeah, at least I saw <laughs> Langoliers and was very confused. This food yeah. has no Ooh. taste. Oh, just the CGI was just the weirdest. Hey, no, I'm gonna I, say I, uh, Balky, so... having Balky in a show and a movie or a made-for-TV movie, and also uh, Al from Quantum Leap. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. This well, food has no taste. The jet fuel is too old or something. I don't know what's going on. Oh, uh, and a psychic little girl of drinking a bunch of jet fuel. Uh, let's go ahead and begin, I guess. All right. Hi. Uh, welcome, everyone, to Wicked Ones, a Forged in the Dark game. We're on most Wednesdays during this time slot. I'm Matthew Pose, a paid GM over at startplaying.games. And why doesn't everyone introduce yourself and your current character? Uh, okay. Oh, puppy bite. Griff ah. played today by a dog. Yes, played by barking <laughs> dog. I I'm playing Slimic, the uh group's uh, what is it? What are they called exactly? Silisk or Slisic? There's a lot people. of S and a lot of L's. Uh, I'm people. playing the snake conniver. Uh, I'm the group's deranged mushroom addicted uh talker. All right, I'm Justin, and I'm playing Lord Movish. I am a very friendly orc hunter who is both deranged and violent. Uh, I'm I'm Rafferty. Today, I am playing um, with Piney Egerhast, aka Peony. Uh, I am a demon. What was this? I'm not. Uh, oh, I am a warlock. Okay, or what do they call it in this game? Warlock. 
Warlock, it is Warlock. Okay, I am a demon warlock, although I specialize in artificing, so... Uh, yep, and, uh, you know, I'm uh, here to satisfy my bizarre craving. And, and I am still Gar, the demon zealot. My dad is the one you all are trying to work for. Dad. Yeah, although I am also creating my own worship here on, I would say, Earth, but I don't know what this place is called. Say, Earth. All right. That sounds like everyone, so we should get into this. Last time you guys assaulted the living forest, took what you needed, brought the dungeon up a tier, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and if I'm not mistaken, uh, Slimic and I have hooked up. Oh, yeah, <laughs> in the back of a wagon. All we're, the way home. How, how many days of travel is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least a few hours, at at least. At least a couple hours. <laughs> yeah, this this island is deceptively larger than it looks like. I think, right? <laughs> well, in theory, they suggest the distance should be traveled from one end to the other within a couple days. Yep. Yeah, the the theming of it is like smaller communities. Mm hmm. But yeah, we also I get mean... back home, and there's a creature in our creature lair, so. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yeah, you teleported a creature to our creature layer. What the hell is this thing? Yeah, so the creature layer is designed this thing's too big for the doorways, so it hasn't gotten to the rest of the dungeon. You guys brought this thing home. We already rolled for loot, but what are you doing about this thing? Well, if it can't leave, then we're good. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean do anything? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm saying it's not aligned with us, but if we just don't go in there, adventurers might just stumble in there by accident and get themselves killed. So it is technically my duty, so I do have to document it. Yeah, so actually, you have to feed it. It's your job so, to feed it. That's so I'm going to go ahead and take an imp, and I'm just going to hurl it at it. And it's just like, eat here. Yeah, and it grabs it and put, throws it on the ground till it breaks, and then kicks it, and the roots kind of burrow into the body. and Seems happy with that. Hey, it does eat. All right, so <laughs> what should I go ahead and call this thing real quick? Well, you get to name it. It's yours. Uh, I Spot. he's like, yeah, I guess he's a uh, infected tree man. Uh, now the question is, uh, what attributes does he actually have? Well, he's gonna have strong. And just flipping over to the creature page. Mm -hmm. Here he is on the map. There we go. Uh, I think I'm close to that page. Let me scroll over there too, just to help out. Uh, uh, corrupted might make sense. Uh, yeah. So he, he corrupts things around him. It's going to be a very clean, uh, very foresty layer here for a bit, huh? So hmm. is he blocking? He's blocking our progress to the weird orb, is it? Yep. Well, he he's eating your imps, so they might not be working on that room a whole lot. It's no. not. It's not aligned to us. Don't go in that room. Also, it's I not aligned with the advent any adventurers either. So if they hey, get lost I'm and go in there, equally as bad for them. Well, two problems. Number one, it blocks our progress to the weird orb. That's um, not something mm -hmm. we've actually been working on. That's just something the imps started doing on their own. <laughs> yeah, they, they just found it, and we haven't. We don't even know what it does. We just let it happen to people. Well, speaking yeah. as the artificer, I'm guessing it's a powerful ingredient, and therefore I need it. <laughs> well, that's fun we'll, dealing with we'll, the okay, creature so we'll there. later. I mean, anytime we find anything weird, it's like, okay, that's an ingredient. Because in order to make tier two and tier three items, you need weird ingredient. <laughs> so I was planning on repurposing it as a weird ingredient. I mean, you can walk through that room if you want. Um... Nothing stopping you but you, lady. Well, and the giant monster. Yeah, well, that's all in your head. <laughs> I've lost most of my things, so I, Look, I understand. I, I didn't come to the mortal realm to get beaten up by a tree. I could do that at home. Uh, so, okay. so that's I suppose good. we do have our downtime, then. I guess we should go over that, right? Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. We, we, we still have minions, right? We didn't lose our guys. I don't think anyone lost 
Well, I lost one that I come with me. I lost one that I sacrificed. Yeah, but the minion pack is still alive, right? Well, yeah, I'm down to uh, since I stupidly decided, hey, two minions will be enough. I'm down to the one guy. <laughs> yeah, I think all my minions were just injured. Yeah, so at, everyone got home. Everyone healed up. Stress, well, shock, and bloody is all recovered. Minions to see if they're healed. I believe my minions are going to be bloodied for this cycle because of all the dark hearts I got, because I can never get any loot. <laughs> oh, right. You you ended up doing uh, revelry, right? Yep. With violence. Yeah, that's, that makes sense. Yep. So hey, my minions rule about Orc Orc Club is remain bloodied. Club. Sorry. <laughs> well, you just talked about it. I don't obey rules. <laughs> including the right. five oh, second yes. rule do people remember da what downtime projects are available or do we need a quick recap um uh, I know I'm good I know yeah, at least I'm, I'm one of my actions I know what I want to do alright so if everyone has a good understanding of what's going on we'll do a couple scenes while people think about their downtime and I'll go through each person one by one okay. so it sounds like Peony is trying to get this weird orb past the tree creature. Is that correct? Uh, no. no. Uh, you, so, no. you can do someone else's downtime. I need, I need to look something up. Okay, no, I was thinking more of a scene, not your downtime action, but okay. Um, uh, no, because I'm, I'm thinking of some other things I can do while we're... Well, uh, I, I have plenty to do. I'm just... Uh, like, is it that I'm, big? Is it very, that important for you, Peony? Not at the moment, no. I, say, I could make right. a teleportation circle specifically to that room from another room. <laughs> no, no, that that's okay. All right, just offer. So, Slimic, after the horror of waking up in the demon's arms, mm -hmm. what are you up to during this lurk session? Uh, well, you know, I've had plenty of fun. I mean, uh, our demon says that they don't know what to do, but they've been doing things for a while, so I'll uh, leave them be for a bit now. Uh, I do have that altar I haven't finished up. Yes. So, uh, well, I just w went and saw some more strange mystical things, and I have some more strange mystical thoughts to put into that altar, so I'll go work on that. All right. So what do you... How is Slimic bringing this altar into working? Uh, well, you know, I've... Uh, I understand the light people, I can speak their language, I've interacted with their cults long enough, and I've seen more of their weird magic stuff. So all I need to do is put that together into a convincing display of you want to leave your money here if you want good fortune. Right, so that sounds like a sly or a clever. Uh, yeah, I got so a trick right trick here. Trick. Yeah, so let's give it a roll and see if we can get a success this time. Yeah, I mean, I got three dice, and that's at least a success. Yeah, alright, so... The trick is now ready. Excellent, excellent. It, it almost makes me want to worship at it, but I won't, because I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that's so mission one accomplished. A statue there and a nice little comfy chair for you to count what's left behind. Oh, yes, yes, wonderful. The lounge room. Uh, and I guess just mechanically, so we're uh, clear on how it works. From what I remember last time, if an adventuring party encounters a trick, encounters something, and then encounters the same type again, they are inured against it, correct? It's one less dice, yes. So once they go through the maze, this is not going to be hugely effective. Right. It won't be effective I'll... until we get something in between it, but I can work on a trap later. Yeah. So it's there for now, and it'll function better later. Well, I could work on a trap if you wanted, because my next thing was going to be working on the door into the trick. Our first Ooh, trick. I'd love that. If you'd love to put anything in the way there, go ahead. Now, if you build something at Tier 1, can you choose to upgrade it later on? I imagine. I don't think it would make it any easier, though. That's fine. Right, I guess you would just start a new project and the, the tier goes up. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that, that would make sense, right? Okay. If that is the case, then I, then Lord Movish will see that there is nothing on the way to this thing that gives people money. 
So I would like to place a trap in between. So whereabouts? Like here? Yep. All right. And what kind of trap is Lord Moish building? Um, I am thinking of swinging blades. Ooh. Interesting. Dangerous. Let's take a look at traps here. So there's several elements of the trap, which is apparently the mechanism, the trigger, and I think just those two parts. Yeah. So the mechanism would be swinging blade. Mm-hmm. And how is it that adventure is activated then? What's the trigger? Some of these suggestions are pressure plates, trap wire, magical detection, disguising it, sound, item removal, false door. Magic detection. Right. So when you fill out your sheet, make sure you put those two things in there. So it's a swing blade and the trigger is magical protection. Wonderful. And now give me a roll. Okay. How are so, you building uh, this trap with? I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to build it in such a way that it'll be very difficult to find in this arm. Alright. So that sounds like either a trick or a tinker. Yeah, I was hoping for skulk, but you know what? I'll go with it. Let's go with Trick. All right, remember to put the tick down for using the skill that you have no points in. So it is not no. ready yet. <laughs> no, that hurts. Hold on, hold on. Can I dark heart yeah. this? Absolutely. In that case, can I take the four? I'll go with that this time. Okay. All right, so got to take out the incomplete there. And you have a trap, a new trap. Hooray! Meanwhile, Gar. All right, I have a question. Because I don't, I don't think I've paid much attention to the building stuff before. <laughs> now I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot for not having paid attention. We can only uh, okay. build, uh, start building stuff of our own dungeon tier, right? No. Okay. So you can I can attempt anything. Okay. Because I would like to attempt to start construction on a. Oh shit, what was the name of it? Uh, of a scriptorium. Which is a tier That's three. One of your of, temple yeah, rooms? We're, we're a temple. Ooh. Yeah. All right. So with tier three, it's an eight dot clock and it'll come with a need. So where are you putting this scriptorium? Uh, over here between the. Uh, Stairs and the test room on the left hand side of the test room. All right, I guess coming off of here. Hold on, if you see this coming off of the uh, the hallway right here. Yeah, in between games, I will put it into the map. All right, just wanted to indicate where. Mm -hmm. What's the scriptorium get you? What's it do? Uh, hold on. So many tabs. Your deeds are recorded on Holy Scripture, immediately giving you Wicked XP equal to your dungeon tier. You also gain a new Wicked XP trigger, where your actions worthy of your gods notice. Each PC must prove their own gods were up to their own worth to gain this XP. Ooh, awesome! The scriptorium might need desks, writing equipment, or leather for binding. I finally broke the Elven Druid. Getting some nice hints as to the location of the mother tree. I'm sure Mel will be pleased. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I All am right. capable and of stupid voices. What, are you... what skill are you starting this with? Oh, Invoke. I'm clearly using magic to do the construction work for me. You ever watched uh, Evil Genius? Or Evil Genius 2? Watch. You ever played it, as a matter of fact? Not yet. It's on my wish list. All the minions use like these little uh, mechanical beams or something to remove the dirt, to, like eat it up. I'd imagine I'm just floating dirt around, causing it. 
Nice. You know, magic instead of muscle. All right, so let's give that invoke roll and see how much you get done working on this. Is it modified, this roll? Is there a negative modifier nope. for having a tier three, working on a tier three room? No. All right. Uh, no, the eight point clock and the uh, needs are enough of a modification. Can I use a dark heart to get a uh, plus one die? Yep. I just, I'm full on dark hearts and I don't want it to be. Mm hmm. That's fair. That, that's bad. The next time you get looted, if you're full. Well, oh, shit. That wow. was that was a lot of a lot of uh, magic and a little effect. Is there is there a reroll thing on here somewhere? There is not. Okay. Wah, wah. So throw a lot of magic at it, and nothing happens. But you've told the imps this needs to be built. So it might be a project they work on at random. It might be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they shake their head. Yep, yep, needs to be done. You do a bit, a lot of waving your hands, a lot of magic summons up, and nothing happens. They're, they're clapping. Yeah, I'm on my failure. Probably I'll do hung a sign on the wall. Future scriptorium. <laughs> Get on it. At this point, I, I, I at, the, at this point, I, wa I, I, I walk around the hallway. I was trying to sleep. Why is there so much noise? And the imps start clapping loudly. Smacking and walk away. <laughs> Filmed live before a studio audience. <laughs> <laughs> Stop wasting film. Oh. We need that for the scriptorium. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's next? Uh. I am next. I... Excellent. Yeah. Thank you, Gar, for building this wonderful scriptorium that will help me translate this book. I can't help but notice that the scriptorium, like, are, are you cleaning the shelves? Is that why they're all empty? I have uh, Wiley Coyote painted a hallway onto the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Great. One thing I needed, you didn't finish it. Um, praise Gar. Um, how many yes. ticks do we have on the clock? Zero? For which room? For the scriptorium. Uh, None filled yet. Zero. None. Okay. What skill do we need to craft a, a scriptorium? It depends on how your character approaches it. Uh, Tinker is generally used for crafting a lot of dungeon rooms and stuff like that, but uh, Gar just showed like he tried to use Invoke to magically make it happen. So what does the scriptorium do when it's done? When it's uh, done, it gives another trigger for XP. And it also gives everybody... Uh, the XP that of the tier of the dungeon. Oh, crap. Wicked well, XP. I do need to finish this book. <sighs> Fine. <sighs> All right. First, uh, I will use uh, my... Uh, I will help finish the scriptorium. And where your suspicious mumbo-jumbo doesn't work, it, I'll finish it the old-fashioned way by using, you know, nails and books. <laughs> <laughs> I will tinker. On right. the scriptorium. I almost want to see this roll fail after you know all this build up to it. Uh, I right. probably will. It was so close. <laughs> where where right. the roll? Hey, yeah. that so, is a success. Some progress has been made. The room's been dug out. So, the shelves are starting to go up. That's two ticks. A whopping two ticks. Great. Out of eight. Uh, I also get a free downtime action, so I'm going to go ahead and craft another uh, bag of luck. All right, and that's a tier one item? Yeah. It's a tier one magic item. It's a bag magic of item. what? Bag of luck. It's a magic. It's a bag that's filled with random crap. You know, no, I just completely misheard you. I, said, I thought you said bag of blood. What? No, uh, that I can make too. Uh, come with me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. I was trying to think. It was like the healing item? What is that? And he said luck. It's like, oh, and I just heard you. Oh, no, the bag of blood's not a healing. I mean, you'll feel better, and by better, I mean lightheaded. Well, no, I meant on the person you're using it on who needs blood. Anyway, anybody else have free actions? I um, don't think I do. Uh... All right, let me go ahead and... Oh, yeah. I got gold, but I'm saving it so I can actually bring minions this time. 
They failed me before by doing exactly what I said. I mean, I still have, okay. I have a free action still. Did you need to make a roll, uh, Peony? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just okay. did. I, I made a crappy okay. bag of luck. Yeah, so you it's got your bag of luck. It's volatile. For yes. some reason, I thought it was just automatic. I don't know why. I just jumped. No, uh, um, uh, I also get to ignore one ingredient. So basically, like, I can make tier one items for free. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so hey, your bag is filled with random crap. <laughs> and then I have my minions have a free one to do a ritual, and they will make a ritual to create a uh, portal to the the Merry Men's encampment. All right, we agree these are tier one projects for them, or was this yeah. the higher one? No, the portal is a tier one. Yeah. So no penalty for this. No, because uh, it's a ritual. It requires a. Uh, I think the word is sacrifice. You know, it's the full page mm -hmm. of uh, suggestions that it gives you. Yeah, what well, was the thing before? You had needed to plant a holy object in that area. Yeah, it's always been my unholy symbol. But since I've converted these people, I believe I already put one there. Well, you have two members who are hidden among the encampment. If sure. you want to see, because they are also supposed to be part of your crew here. So, do they have a trick or a skulk or invoke skill? Uh, well, I have my priest that still. My priest is my them... minion that does it. Uh, no, yeah, the, the so ritual you don't... Uh, the ritual you, I don't think you roll for. The ritual it, it has a cost associated with it. Is it yeah, yeah. So I'm now asking, I'm how, is the priest, how is the priest setting up this symbol is what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, no, you, you tell me is the thing. You've got to tell me what yes. the cost is. The cost is getting one of your holy symbols embedded in the location. Oh, I thought I left one there out. last time. Remember, these are the people that I thought I, you wanted in the encampment. Well, obviously, I've got to put it wherever I put it. <laughs> so here's the, here's the problem: you is didn't I, leave I, one in the river I left batted. one. I left one with them. I remember that. But the thing is, is that mm -hmm. you could make the um, you could make the cost random every time, so I can't count on what it's going to be. So that's what I'm saying. I left one. I remember I left one with them last time. So I guess mm -hmm. wherever they put theirs is where the portal's going to be. Sounds perfect to me. Give me an invoke. Well, the uh, the acolytes give me an invoke. What do they got? Two. Yeah. So you have another portal. God, I got so many windows. What's our relation with the, with the with the Merry Man again? Uh, we beat up some of the oh. people and sold their chickens last. You don't time. need you so don't need to roll uh, invoke. That's right. I was right before. You don't need to roll invoke for ritual. It's the costs. You have to fulfill requirements. It's oh, negative, okay. Raph, because they're people of the light and we're monsters, so they hate us. Uh, yeah, but remember, the, so you tried to kill most all most of them or bring them back or something, and I converted two of them to worshiping me. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Um, I'd like to spend some gold to do uh, an extra uh, downtime action. All right. Ooh. What's Peony up to? I am going to send my minions who speak fluent light, mm -hmm. and I'm going to send them to go find a merry man so we can put him in the dungeon and do bad things to him. Is there any Let's chance? See. Is there any chance? Any chance? Because uh, you remember, there's a, an experience point thing for entirely interrupting somebody else's shit. Is there any chance I could confuse the order, have them find a married man? <laughs> Give me a trick, Gar, because that sounds entertaining. I don't really care who ships up. <laughs> well, I'm also not. They'll changing. torture them either way. I'm sure. I'll use my other dark heart to give me a zero roll on trick. Sounds good. Which I guess means I'll just put a bonus one onto my untrained yeah, I'm, I'm trick. I'm not sure if this is... I wasn't sure if this is attracting a creature. I wasn't sure where this was. Basically, I don't want my minions to go get people so we can put them in the dungeon so we can torture them. That's why they speak common. So they can go and lure Ooh. people. And in fact, you can go lure people with this. It's a bag of infinite stuff. All you have to do is tell them, hey, you want something like this? 
and uh, <laughs> all you do is give me details on someone else. So yes, I plan on seeding the entire world with bags of cursed crap uh, in return for people selling their souls and bad children. I mean, I'm connecting our dungeon to multiple places across the world, too, so... But you're kidnapping people to give them a sales pitch. You know, that's the most effective uh, ad revenue I think I've ever heard of. Consider a timeshare dungeon. During the <laughs> summer, you too could live here with the giant tree monster and the latrine. Just look at all the skulls on the wall. You'll feel right at home in no time. Oh, don't go into that room. Hey, we have skulls at home. <laughs> all right. So, your minions head out there. Well, yeah, I'm not sure if this, is attracting a, if this is attracting a creature or if this is just grabbing somebody to torture. I'm not sure where this falls. Well, the Mary, Mary Manor people. This is definitely going on to the whole torture thing. Yeah, they I, run I to go on the way. Uh, yeah, contacting uh, the other guys. Basically, yeah, mm -hmm. my minions speak the common language. They make promises to people and then kidnap them and bring them back here. That's what their job is. Mm hmm. So, like I said, they go out, they got your instructions, and they're mumbling it to themselves. Their bugbears are not too smart. They come across Gar along the way, and he's like, no, no. He said married men. Make sure you get it right. And they're like, oh, shit. And they think about it for a second, and they head out, and they come back with a squirrel person. Okay, what tier is he? He is a tier one. Excellent. He that means we can torture been, him for a secret. He has been kidnapped. You guys don't have a prison. Where are you keeping him? What? what? Do we have to have one to torture someone? I thought we just tortured them. Oh, you don't have to have one to torture someone. You just, oh. where are you keeping him? Right. Theoretically, the prison keeps them from escaping more easily. They need an opportunity to do so. How? Otherwise, we're just keeping him somewhere, and he might escape. By the way, by the way, Raph, you're getting a little bit of feedback now. I thought I might be. Okay. No, we keep him in the minion lair, because that's where the minions are. Ah, uh, yes, in the messy, noisy room. Yeah, well, that's fine. I mean, also, well, we have little control of the minions, and they do random shit on their own, so just keep that as a warning. Uh, um, I I'm fine with this. I, okay. I specifically hired five minions who uh, brutalize and torture people. Perfect. Oh, and they promise to let you go, and they lie about it. Yeah, I rolled their trick. They convinced this poor sap to come here, at least away from his own people. And then they beat him, put a hood over his head, and now you have a squirrel person as a prisoner. Yep, we subject him to viable indignities. And did we learn any secrets? Uh, have you taken action to torture him yet? Uh, well, I'm the minions are doing it, so I'll go ahead and yeah. roll it for the minions. Yeah. Well, is that a, another downtime, or is that just something we do? That's what I paid them the gold for. That's what he paid the gold for. Oh, Let's I go thought get the gold was to kidnap. Okay. I didn't know which action was which. I'm thinking. I'm thinking the gold's probably just to kidnap. So we might be out of That's action. Fair. We might. We might have spent all of our effort just kidnapping. That that sounds about right because you didn't have which crystal before. Uh, now you do. Actually, planning on using him as an ingredient if he if he's here the next downtime. So if he's if he's lucky, he won't be here. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> I'm evil. Yep. Yeah. This hey. is something to do while I wait for your tree creature to get killed by adventurers. Well, I mean, is that is that the next step? Catastrophe? That would what? be the next step. To see what happens. Catastrophe is the next step. Hey, your goblins can't torture. I, I went through all the effort to get this, Lemick. You have to eat your own prisoner. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to eat him. I just want to make him feel bad. He already feels bad. Look, I mean, look, I'll take his hood off so I can see your face. There, now he feels the worst. I was just thinking that it's like, oh, I can't have uh, Peony going after my new subjects. And I remembered, oh, wait, I sacrificed one of my own priests last episode. Clearly, I'm entirely down. The only down. priest been allowed to sacrifice them for blood gods is me. <laughs> well, yeah, I am their blood god. Nobody else can harm them but me. I've got to figure out how to I get more minions now like without paying gold. I wonder what this guy's wife would pay to get her husband back. Yeah, because specifically he's a married man. Married man. Yeah, did we get, did we get a secret out of him? Uh, we, haven't, no, we haven't tortured him yet. We haven't right. yeah. tortured him yet. He, yeah. He's not in any condition to talk. So loose-lipped, he just started spilling secrets before anything happened. 
Well, not good secrets. Oh yeah, he's right, like so. a chunk from uh, the Goonies. Just started telling his life story before anything ever started. <laughs> yeah, married men are like that. Everyone's fascinated over this prisoner, and one of the imps kind of like stumbles forward, looking a little nervous, flinging his hands. Uh, boss? Fool! What'd you do? Yeah, like... <laughs> um, the testing room's making a weird noise. What'd you do? Nothing. Ah, uh, Something's the about to explode, weird I'm sure. Noise. We, we were having lunch? Who told you you could eat? I don't know. Well, fireball to the face. And then let's go look at the test room. <laughs> yeah. Time to go investigate. Leave the charred corpse behind. Yeah. It would be lunch for somebody else. Hey, I'm going to just put this lemon on top of it. It'll, it'll taste better later. Does the testing room smell funny? They had lunch in here. Clearly it does. Ooh, good scan. Very good scan. It smells very funny. Something in here isn't right. This whole place smells very funny. The Hold up. Funny. Hold it up. Let me light this match funny. so I can see better. Oh. <laughs> Wait, did they say it smelled funny or did they say it was making funny noise? I've already forgotten. They said it was funny making noise. funny noises. I, go back and ask I determined that, that it smelled, that doesn't smell right. Okay. What do you think is the source of it? Can you By the sniff way, it out? Natural gas doesn't actually have an odor. They add that in post. <laughs> well, <laughs> this I mean, world is true. preceded. Pointedly, natural yep. gas also doesn't make a funny noise. So um, look at the tube that runs across the room. No one's really sure what the tube does. But who put but it there? There is a hissing little breakout. Who knows? Well, that's what I'm asking. Who does? Not what are you for? Who's been working oh, on okay. this room? Yeah, did did they dig it up? Or did the tube just appear one day? There was a hole here, and now there's not. Oh, hold on. I go back, and I'm like, who touched the red thing? Well, he's dead. And you see the charred corpse of the imp. <laughs> Whatever was flowing through the red pipe, it appears that has a leak. Well, let's just get rid of the red I'll pipe, the then. Uh, Minion, come here. Put your hands on that leak. Okay, good. Now don't move. Goblin looks up at you like, but okay. All yeah, right, sure, problems. Boss. Problem <laughs> solved. Also, one less goblin to worry about. <laughs> That's why I love you, Slimic. One sec. Um, I said so him, not goblin. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he said the GM said Hissy goblin. I don't goblin. know. Okay. So, can we do anything right now to sort of help deal with this? Uh, we can work on it. it oh, seems. I've got this bubble okay. gum. I have a, I, I do have a coil of rope. <clears throat> well, you're gonna tie that mm -hmm. pretty tight. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie this dude to the leak. <laughs> not, not just his hands though. I'm gonna put him up all over it and just tightly vice grip tie him around it. I appreciate it. We have a dead body in the corridor, but we're going to use the live one to do this. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. the, the dead one won't scream. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So the goblin's even more confused now. Before he was like, yeah, my boss told you. Now he's like, um. So I'm going to use uh, finesse this to save? make really, really good knots. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's the see. It goes around three times and then through the hole. Uh, I'll also dark heart to get an additional die. I think for the uh, purposes of, um, I don't know, terminology, we should be using the word imp and not minion. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, I thought you said minion, so... Well, oh, yeah, I, Griff well, I said, tried saying imp to begin with. Yeah, Griff said minion, Griff said and then imp. you said goblin because that is his minion, and it's like, Griff meant yeah. imp. Griff meant imp, so that's oh, what I'm okay. saying. We should use the terminology it's of the game. It's still a small screaming thing now, so, at least. Well, yeah, oh, well, you have a limited it, number of. The imps are four. infinite. Yeah. And with that, I tie this imp around the leak as tight as I can to stop it. Yeah. All right. And then he's tied there and he's really confused and he's a lot more nervous than a goblin. He's like, um, 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 
this doesn't seem good. It's fine. You'll stay there. You will serve a purpose. Okay. Also should probably fix it on the clock. So we don't like forget later and then think it's actually yeah. Calvin. No, that's fair. Because we do have a long, a long history of forgetting things. I don't remember how long ago, though. Right. I- I'm going to assume <laughs> that we need uh, also actual downtime actions to begin repair, correct? Hey, did, did you know the imps get a downtime action? They yeah, do. They, they, they do worked on lo- stuff. the lock this, this turn. Okay. That's what I was saying yeah, before. They also have the a project going on over stuff. here. The imps do random stuff okay. and fuck things up. That's why I was saying that keeping <laughs> your guy in an imp room might be... All right, that works. All right, so what new calamity or adventure awaits us this week? All right, so it's been a while since Plunder's been gone and his minions left a while back. And who you hear from? Plunder. Who? Plunder? Yeah. I don't know who that is. Uh, that's great. I thought the guy like, was in the jar, is it? Hmm? Like, no. didn't you, didn't you read your pamphlet? What pamphlet? What? I've been reading this. Also, I came back and st- as his minions Kingsperson. were going to leave, I was like, no, you will follow me. Because oh. they carry over. Oh, wrong one. Kicks his minions, the kobolds. Oh, yeah. Uh, they technically do need to be rehired. Yeah, and, right. and they're, they're not going to work for us, I guess, until we. I pay. Oh no, they they come back. I thought they aren't dead, uh, but they would still the need to be paid for. They the, were very the, expensive the, as well. Yeah, the concern is that he had free minions, or he can pay for his old minions. Well, one of these things is not like the other. Mm-hmm. So right now, I'm just cribbing off of free minions at the moment. Well, what sort of wacky hijinks are we doing this week? Well, let's consult the master plan. Pulls out giant book. Grow the horde. Yeah, I was about to say, like, you pull down, like, the giant scroll or something, or you, like, turn on, like, the overhead projector. (laughs) Congrats. Well, I've already helped do that. I got us a pipe of hissing magic gas. Mm Mm-hmm. And I got us this married man. Eventually, we'll get his whole family. Yeah. The uh, hallways are filled with two different types of incessant whining. <laughs> one of welcome. escaping gas and one of a crying guy. Crying a squirrel. Yeah, his tears are delicious. Want some? I brewed coffee. Well, I can't help but notice you do have two things under construction that also need a number of things in order to be built. Yeah. So, do, do we to want to, to go those? get some uh, go get some gears and pulleys? I can't help but remember we that we did that them. last time, and what did we wind up with? No, uh, la- last time we went, we uh, we once we tried to steal them from the giants. The next time we went to a cursed wood, we wound up using that to build. Which I might add, do you notice the way in scouting? Do you notice how nice this looks? I, you know, what a thought occurs to me is that we went to the woods. With the idea to get treasure, but also you guys were like, we can get gears and pull, or make that from the wood there. And then how many times did the proposition come up? How do we get this chunk of wood into the cart? Let's use some sort of pulley system. <laughs> yep. Well, we need different gears and pulleys for the testing room, not the Clearly. same kind as block and tackle. Clearly. I'd, talk, I'd explain this to you, but you're not an engineer, you're more of a necromancer. No, you get it wrong every time. Well, if there were ever people who knew anything about industry, there's the Cult of the Brass God, and we could maybe at least try to get something off of them, trick it out of their hands. We could just go buy some stuff, you know. We there's just, a like, you know, trade, trade city. Right, and we did mention the market before. Yeah, there's the trade yeah, city the trade in the city. upper uh, upper north, upper right. Sorry, I'm always thinking of the map, what? and we always go back to this screen. <laughs> yeah, we, why we go back oh, to my original Tal-Shir. plan? Which... Yeah, which, which was to go to the trade city and just buy the crap. Which is N. Which is yeah, actually not that, that far from us. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We, so we, let's just go to the market. Yeah. They'll trade with us. 
Let's all go to the Will lobby. They? <laughs> um, well, if we have stuff to trade, what do you guys have? I've got sacks of everything. Uh, I have some flashy rings I could sell off. Where'd you get these rings? Don't ask questions. Well, they might ask questions when they're going to go buy them. They won't ask them for long. <laughs> okay, we've been over this. <laughs> okay, it's called trading, not stabbing. Uh, uh, right, right. I'll... Dagger away. <laughs> I actually do have a valuable I gem. was just going to try to steal something. Stealing I, is also oh. good. I have a valuable gem that I haven't yeah, used anything got... for. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll go ahead and note here, there are two raid plans. Uh, one is, of course, negotiation, and the other is trickery. Yeah. Um, so those do fit going to the market. Yeah. Yeah, because we don't uh, want to actually raid this out? place. We don't want to physically raid the place, because it's light. It's a tier 3 place, so we would not make it, I don't think. Well, oh, I mean, if it's, it's tier 3, they must have the great deal. Let's, I mean, we can just go do that. Not everything has to be... A chaotic festival of murder and violence. I disagree. Oh. Oh, wait. You're suggesting P. Samuel's Trading Company, not N. Tashir, which I'm is a trade hub with a powerful wizard. No, that's what I said. I'm Tashir. Tashir is N, out. which is literally just above us, across the lake. Yeah. And so of course, on, of the... I feel that might be... Bring... All right. Hmm? So then if I were to go ahead and split this up, if we went to Samuel's, we could just negotiate, we got some collateral, we can work it up, and we can have people give us stuff we want without spilling a whole lot of blood. If we go to Talshir, we're probably doing trickery, because I have to sneak all of you in, do all of your talking, and then make sure you all get My it. minion is a human being fluent in light. I don't need... Right, so it's going to be on me and also him, and then I'm okay. going to blame him. Wait a sec. I thought I thought I thought Talgiers was neutral. Uh nope. Talgier is actually light. Samuels is oh, neutral. Oh, let's go to Samuels then. See, I'm only yeah, biased Samuels, because I made Talgier. So that's my only bias. Yeah, no 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 no. We should go to Samuels. It's neutral. Where where is Samuels? Which letter is that? Is that H? That is P. P. That's Peter. P. Where is P? Um, oh, in the woods. Similar distance, Why are we actually? always going to the woods? <laughs> because evil uh, burns easily in the sun. I feel like we went to the, the mountain once, and every other time it's like, fuck anywhere. Let's go to the woods every time. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. There's just so many trees around here. I turn around, and bam, there's a new one. Wait, is that coming from the creature room? Ah, never mind. Yeah, well, th th this time it's a regular forest, not a cursed forest. True, true. You say. We'll see what we say at the end of the adventure. Um, wait, where are we on this map again? <laughs> uh, that thing above M. That square with a line in it. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, and what the heck, crummy heck is M? Let me look at the handout again. M is unlabeled on the map. That's right, it's an empty city. Oh, what kind well, of city is Well, let's move that? into the city, then. It's empty. It's ours. <laughs> well, what kind of city is it? it? It just hasn't been explored or discovered, I guess. That or it's a fallen city. It's, a city. it's empty. I'm sure it's full of craven men and unbaptized children. My favorite type of children. Uh, they're the best one for ingredients. Yeah. Um, we got extra mission parts. Mission of exploration and try to steal some pulleys and books. Um, we could just go to B. We could just well, go to the on. store, everybody. Hold on. If we do want to do M as a at, with my scouting, I could establish that it was a tech that that whatever was there before was technologically advanced. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I could use a laser gun. You know, that could just be what we're looking for, though. Oh, yeah, it's the alien crash site. Yeah, I was literally just thinking. Crash-landed aliens who have now just decided to settle in because they're not going anywhere anymore. Well, it's, it's where the Vegepigmies come from. It's the Barrier Peaks or whatever. Yep. I just noticed exploration isn't one of the raid plans, but I guess that makes sense. That's, we're, we're yeah. Evil. 
Um, okay. Uh, I, this is the last time I'll say. Uh, I'm gonna suggest that we go to Sam's Trading Company and negotiate. Yeah, I think I think I think that's best. We'll just make a note that this is there, and we'll, well, I guess we'll just walk through the forest. Hopefully, no one will come ambush us. Oh, I can't wait for Griffin to be knocked around by a tree again. I heard you did your tea to my cousin. <laughs> We're supposed fast the roots. I'm ready for it this time. That's a lie. Don't ever let it happen, please. Oh, oh in the okay. back so of your mind. This would be in. This would be a negotiation raid plan, then, correct? This will be negotiation. We're going to mm-hmm. talk and spill as few blood as possible. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any forces of light between you and there, so you don't need a set up plan to get there. Um, uh, then what? as part of this raid plan, mm-hmm. I'm going to establish that every single person that works at Samuels is related in some way. Oh, they're all I'm... Samuels. Uh, yes, they call that a tribe. They call that a No, family. no, no, not like that. I mean, like, it's a massive, massive family, but only family members work there. That right. does make the motto that's, make sense. It says, when you're here, you're family. I guess that, that's, that's what it meant. That's still so the facts, but okay. The facts can't contradict what's already been established, and it's already been established that many otherworldly blooded are employees there. Look, Samuels mm-hmm. will fuck anything. They're like dragons. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just gotta be part of the family. That's fair. People can marry in and stuff like that. That makes sense. Yeah. Now, it, it could also be that the people who work there are the people who trade there, but the only people who are authorized to trade there are people who are blooded family members. Therefore, you have to wear, marry a weird alien. Look, look, I just appreciate that Justin had the, uh, the opportunity <laughs> to give us a fact that could help us out, and he said, you know what? They're all related. <laughs> They're all family members. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not, how it works. Not, I, I, not I, hey, I like the Samuels all right. are all addicted to this <laughs> drug and we just trade them all this drug or something, or, you know, any any other facet he wanted to pick. They're no, all like related. Cool. All right, so I think so maybe what's almost fitting, Ben, and the way to make that actually work is as a conniver, I can do a flashback to set up or manipulating others, and I can say, what do you think all these rings are for? I'm already married to some of them. Five of them, I think. Spend the stress <laughs> and give me a skill to go with it. So trick, it sounds like, or uh, banter. Yeah let's, oh. yeah, let's give it a trick. All right. So they don't know that you're married to five of them. Just the five that you married know you. Exactly. That is brilliant. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So you're married to five different people? <laughs> All yes. at Samuels. And I can disappoint each of them. So that makes you Slimic uh. Samuel. Slimic, you can't. No one disappoints you like me. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's true. All right. So I don't think we need a setup plan because nothing's going to stop you from getting there. Yeah, it sounds like you're, yeah, it sounds like you're going for a negotiation plan. Grab your weird gems. Yep. I've got bags of crap. Yeah. Okay. Your goal is to get some gears and pulley for the test room. Is that right? Yeah. Yep. Well, get yep. cool crap for the test room. Uh, gears and pulleys are on the list. But we've also got, uh, let's see, gigaws, springs, cogs, widgets, doohickeys, doohickeys. Hmm. probably a replacement Nickel. tube. What what you might call it? Rube, uh, I had that already. A Rube Goldberg machine. Yep, Goldbergs, contraptions. <laughs> uh, Obtainium. Don't want the uh, other one. Can never find it. All. And an oak table. You know what's funny? Another flashback. All right. I already know what's on sale uh, on a special sale this weekend. Green light special, even. <laughs> and of course, it's the objects we're after. I waited for precisely this moment to tell all of you. You happen to know that. Good news! The god machine of all creation collapsed. <laughs> and to sell. They're actually selling doohickeys. You know, in a monster <laughs> lair. I like how all of this is making uh, Slizik seem incredibly mundane. <laughs> hey guys, have I ever told you how I'm married? And hey, they're having a sale down at the market. I I like to think that's actually completely true. Slizik is actually just perfectly normal. He's just very good at lying about being evil or anything. <laughs> 
<laughs> Born a monster, well, raised by humans. Isn't marriage really just a lie we tell ourselves? So there we go. Uh, green light special. <laughs> I'm, right, uh, so that... Actually, uh, uh-huh. I'm, I'm a f- uh, do you have any more rings? Uh, I mean, I only got what I have. I got some extra big iron rings, and I'll hold up a pair of iron manacles. Ooh, perfect. Okay, um, Gar, I need you to marry us. Ah, uh, no, thanks. I'm not into polygamy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, some deity you are. Congratulations. We're living in sin, Slimic. All right. I I guess I'm bringing the manacles, though. Uh, yes, right. please. So has everyone decided what gear they're taking and what's being put in supply for this run? I have. Just mm-hmm. my normal Good. stuff. Right. Uh, yep. I am... I Actually, before we continue, when I used the rope to tie the imp to the pipe, did that use up mm-hmm. my rope? Oh, it depends. You want to go back and get it? No, no, no. So it used it up. It used your rope put, until you get the just, imp off just of the Just put like a too. star there. Just put a star beside it, knowing it's indisposed. Okay. How about this? Just take um, the burnt yeah, imp no. and take his entrails out and use his rope. So, who uh, is bringing uh, minions with them? Uh, uh, I, I am, am not. And I'm, explaining my min- uh, I'm explaining my minions very clearly that this man was alive when I left. He's supposed to be alive when I get back. You all understand that, right? And the bugbears give a big nod. What about the goblins? Wait, is that one of his okay. tricky? Is that one of his tricky orders where he just he means that it's supposed to be dead when he gets back? On one hand, I'd love to bring my goblins because they actually can <laughs> scan for stuff and find things, which I like mm-hmm. to have. But we also have a hunter and tracker with us anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll, yeah, I'll pay for them to come along. That's my, fair. My bug bears right are now are licking me, so I can't. That's fair. Mine comes for free. And also, he's human. Also, mm-hmm. he speaks the language. Very handy. Yeah, I also so only have the one left. Slimic looking at his looking at his goblins, you know. They seem a little eager to come since the bugbears are kind of looking at them, licking their lips and rubbing their hands as the bosses are leaving. Don't you worry, and I'll just pat one of their head. I'm the only one who will eat you. Come along. And they're like, there's only one of him. There's five of them. That's true. Keep that in mind for later. Put it in your pocket. We'll use it. It'll be a surprise. Like you have pockets. <laughs> All right. Guess I have five of them now. Oop, I'm gonna do that. Well, no, there's uh, three goblins. There's five bugbears. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's slightly more intimidating. Never mind. <laughs> Let's get out of here. So yeah. you guys follow rough directions of where, you know, the Samuel Trading Co. is supposed to be and making your way through this forest after the trauma of last time. Nothing's coming to life. Nothing's trying to eat you. It's not too bad. Aw. Uh, I'll still reflexively flinch against every, like, swinging branch. Like, ah! <laughs> and the engagement roll. Oh. Need to spice this up a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, we just chose the easiest possible plan. Let's see how we ruin it. <laughs> I know there's at least one group that hates the same old trading co. Well, I mean, remember, you do get experience for being a monster. Oh, yep. exactly. Our, we're, we're supposed to go there and ruin it. Yeah, I'm just saying that if at any point you want to fuck this up, you can be <laughs> rewarded for it. So... You're on your way there. Your plan is to negotiate with the Samuel Co. You know the stuff you want they're trying to get rid of, so mm-hmm. it should be an easy job. Should Following be. All in this broken down path. You see about 10 or 12 guys dressed in full plate armor, carrying spears, a couple horses there. And beyond them, there's another small group heading up down the path. And these people all look human. They're dressed with the insignia of Talshir. And oh, how does the group approach these guys? They're also shopping. <laughs> well, they're heading towards Samuels, right? Not away from it? Correct. I mean, as long as we're behind them, everything's fine. Right. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, these 12 have stopped. The others are moving forward. 
Mm, I I think maybe we should try and go around them. Uh, I could try to engage them. At the very least, then they're distracted and you guys can go on ahead and I'll catch up. Well, do we think they're... Uh, aren't they you could... already married five times? Six, exactly. if you count uh, the other one. Well, uh, we we don't need to get into this counting game, you know. I'm sure uh, <laughs> I love everyone, you see. Apparently. Eventually. And I'll also get half of their valuables later.